Hello, I'm Matt here at Rollin' Wrench. Um, this isn't going to be a very exciting video, but it'll definitely give you a lot of knowledge. Um, so we're talking about belts here. If, you're, if your scooter is uh, belt went out, do not buy a Chinese belt like this. Um, there's a lot of different names. It's pretty obvious on uh, which ones are Chinese and, and which ones aren't. Um, but this one definitely is. You can you can find these all day long for you know ten dollars, eight dollars on on websites and eBay and stuff like that. But don't put one of these on there. Or you'll waste your time. I know that your scooter came with this belt, but I re highly recommend not replacing it with the same type of belt. Um, there's a company called Gates. They're, they're actually here in Colorado, um, and they have Kevlar belts and they have standard belts. Uh, if you just, at least go with the Gates rubber company belt, they're a good belt. Um, I highly recommend them, and uh, uh, if you can afford it, use a uh, Kevlar belt. This is an MRP belt, but if you notice, it says Kevlar. Um, it's just a much better material. It's better for heat. They last two to three times longer than a standard belt, and uh, basically the belt's the lifeline of your transportation. So if that goes out, uh, you're you're kind of in trouble. So I'd, I'd recommend investing in a good on a good belt. I kind of wanted to I have a cheat sheet here. I kind of wanted to uh, talk to you. So any of the any of the so for instance, if your belt goes out and it's shredded and you don't know what number it is, so there's a number on these belts that are like here. Um, so like the most common size is a six six nine by eighteen thirty. If you have ten inch wheels on your scooter, that's considered a short case. Chances are that's the belt you're going to need. Um, that's also interchangeable with the six six nine. 18.1-30. Those two are, are the same. Um, and also, if you have 12-inch wheels on your scooter, um, the 12, if you have 12-inch wheels, that's a, that's a long case, and uh, your, the size is going to be 729-17.7-30. Uh, that's what belt you'll need. Um, and then if, if you have... Uh, 10 inch wheels and you have a 150 cc or a 125 cc the the i was talking about 50 cc's up just a second ago now we're going into 125s and 150s uh if you have if you have 10 inch wheels on a 150 or 125 you're going to need a 743-2030 and uh of course if you have a 250 cc it's going to be 828-22.5-30 um and that's just uh and also, here's, here's some more. If you have um, uh, 12 or 13 inch wheels on your 150 or your uh, 125, you're going to go with an 842-2030. And uh, if you have, um, there's actually going to be two for that. It's eight, four, that number or 835-2030. Um, I'm sorry this video is a little boring, but I, I, I guarantee it'll be useful if you need, need it. Um, but yeah, um, highly recommend going with a good Kevlar belt. If you can't afford it, go with just a Gates Rubber Company belt. Um, we have these on our website at rollingwrenchdenver.com. Um, and subscribe to our channel if you find this helpful.